What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're doing a general maintenance type of exercise, and that is practicing your major scale in intervals of thirds. So let's go. Cool. So like mentioned in the previous scene and like the title of today's video, today's lesson is all about how we can practice our major scale in intervals of thirds, right? Essentially, starting from our root, going up a third, second degree, up a third, third degree, up a third, etc. We're going to focus in the key of G major, right? And we're going to look at all five cage shapes and how we can accomplish the major scale in thirds. Now, before we start, I do want to give, you know, a bit of, I don't know, background context or something along those lines. This is very much, you know, a general maintenance topic. This is an exercise that you do maybe 10, 15 ish minutes per day. That 10, 15 minutes per day focus will yield better results than trying to do this for an hour with that hour being distracted on the phone. You know, you're watching a YouTube video. But if you can practice this every day for 10, 15 minutes in small bursts, you'll vastly improve your left hand dexterity and your knowledge of these third intervals, whether they're major third jumps or minor third jumps. And then like a lot of stuff that I talk about on the channel, you'll slowly take over the whole fingerboard in really any key that you want to practice in. So with that being said, let's dive into today's video. So for today's video, like mentioned, we'll be in the key of G major. G major notes being G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And we'll be using our caged system to help us see different scales, right? The five positions of the major scale. So we have our E shape, our D shape, our C shape, A shape, and then our G shape. Now, one thing before we dive into the examples, you know, I really want to stress the importance of knowing and identifying, are you playing a major third interval or a minor third interval, right? Because knowing those two and the differences will keep everything in the same key, right? So let's say G to B is a major third. A to C natural, minor third. B to D natural, minor third. C, E, major third. D, F sharp, major third, E, G natural, minor third, F sharp, A, minor third, and then back to G. So that, if played in the same position, will look something like this. One more time and let's do the second octave as well. Pretty cool, right? Again, this is an exercise that you implement 10, 15 minutes per day and it'll yield great results. If we go now to our D shape, now the jumps are the same, but our left hand is stretching out a bit more, right? Thank you. 
if we go down to our C shape. Let's say now our A shape. Finally, our G shape. And that's how it would look between the five positions, right? You can also, like I did in the first E shape, do the second octave. So let's do all that again, but including the upper octave. You'll see when we get to the C, A, and G shape, we'll have to do a bit more exploring on the high E string. <laughs> That's how you can implement practicing your major scale with thirds. <laughs> well, all right, guys, that is today's video demonstrating how we can practice our major scale in intervals of thirds. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.